morning and welcome to WBKS News. Today is Thursday, April 7th, and it is a B2 day, and it's Skype day. I'm Anchor 1. And I'm Anchor 2. Seniors, the parents have asked that any submissions for the Pace t-shirt be turned in by today, Thursday, instead of tomorrow, Friday. So please get your designs into Miss Hansen no later than 3 o'clock today. NAGAF is coming. Save the date, Monday, April 11th from 5 o'clock to 9 o'clock p.m. at BK. A time to play video games, eat, and have fun. Just a reminder from the guidance office, don't forget to sign up for the May 7th SAT test. The last day to sign up is tomorrow, April 8th. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. LaForest in the guidance office. Today on WBKS News, we will be introducing a new segment. Live on the show with the help of Skype, we'll be interviewing a past graduate of BK to see where she is now and what she is up to. On today's show, we will be talking to former news host Emily Pietrocarlo, who now attends Syracuse University. Join us as we have a Skype video chat with Emily, live from her dorm room, right now on WBKS News. Emily, are you there? I am here, guys. Oh. Hi, Emily. Hey, uh, how are you? I'm collegiate, which <laughs> equals awesome and wise. I'm a wise person now, so I'm good. <laughs> well, that's good. How is Syracuse? Syracuse is really, really good. It's really, really... Oh, it's sunny. Never mind. I was going to say it's depressing, but it's really sunny. So, yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, now that freshman year is almost done for you, how do you think Carney's helped you through this year? You know, Carney's, Carney's helped me a lot, you know, especially uh, with the news program because I am a communication major concentrating in television, radio, film. So uh, the, news, the news class really helped me with a lot of just basic elements of filming, like uh, how to f what to do, how to set up a film prop or a shot properly and uh, white balance and, and focus and all this kind of stuff that... Uh, it's just the basic elements that you really need to know to film well, and a lot of people in uh, in my class don't know how to do it, and it kind of slows things down a little bit. So I, I really like uh, knowing it, so I can speed it back up and be like, "Oh, you don't know how to do that? I know how to do that. What's up?" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how does the news program that you have there compare to what you had here at Kearney? Uh, it's it's a lot. It's the, it's pretty much the same. You know, there is a student-run TV. Uh, station which includes news which I am a part of and um, it, it's, it has the same thing you guys do it's just a little bit more complicated as far as uh, the equipment and, and whatnot Ooh, went dark and uh, and yeah so Carney's is a little bit more, more watered down because it's a it's like introductory thing but it has the same stuff and I've been watching your shows with you know the OTS's that's a fake OTS and uh, the green screen and all that stuff that they use in real shows. Even the green screen, I have no idea how to do. So I, I envy your skills in that department. <laughs> it's okay. Do you have any advice for us here at Carney? It's funny you ask that because I have so much advice to give to you young folk. It's a little ridiculous. I actually dream about often telling you a lot of just really wise <laughs> things. It's really hard to pick one. I'm going to have to. And uh, my one piece of really great advice, so listen, guys, listen. It's, uh, it's, it's a pain, but you guys should take as many APs as humanly possible if you can handle it. Like, if you're going to die, don't do it. But it's really helpful because if you can get credit for those and go into college, you can get, like, <laughs> over a semester's worth of credit, and, uh, which I did. And it takes a lot of the pressure off the shoulders, you know what I mean? Because uh, you 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 can graduate early, which I can. So it's it's really it's really helpful. So just take APs, guys. Do it. Wow, it's a little late for us. Uh, we can't take more APs, but <laughs> awkward. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, thanks for joining us today. We really enjoyed talking to you. I uh, I I know I'm enjoyable to talk to. I also enjoy talking. <laughs> Well, uh, do you know what time it is for the show? You know what? I think it's, oh, I don't have a watch on, but it's club news time. It's time for I club news. news. <laughs> Hey Bishop Carney, listen up. April 14th is National Poem in Your Pocket Day. For this day, the English Club will be hosting a dress down day. What do you have to do to dress down? In exchange for $2, you will be given a poem by your homeroom teacher to keep in your pocket for the day. This will be your dress down pass, so make sure to keep it in your pocket. All proceeds will go towards helping the English Club print this spring. Talk to Ms. Hoffman if you have any questions, and get ready to show your literary pride on April 14th. 
A human rights activist once said, only the people can save the people. Bishop Carney's Amnesty International student group couldn't agree more, which is why Wednesday, April 13th, they have chosen to stand in solidarity with over 2,000 prisoners of conscience that remain behind bars. On April 13th, the International Day of Silence, members of the Amnesty International will take a vow of silence to remember those who live in countries where people are silenced unfairly on a daily basis. Please respect their decision to take a stand for human rights. Once upon a time in the land of Carney Ubles gathered a group of hardworking noodles. Reading and stories united their passion, making them want to share it like fashion. This hardworking group called upon their fellow noodles to help gather books and large caboodles. They know that by working together they can reach their goal. They are sure to collect more than the height of a schnurpin bowl. So attention all you noodles, you must do your part with all your big Carney Ubel heart. Wow, what a poem. That's a great poem. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty clever. It is pretty clever. You gonna keep a poem in your pocket? As a matter of fact, I have a poem in my pocket right now. Really, did you write it? Of course I wrote it. Oh, okay, well read it to us. All right, ready, Carney? Roses are red, violets are blue. Athletes wear shorts, so now we turn it to Michael with the sports. Attention all members of the golf teams. The bus for Eagle Vale leaves at 2.55 today, so please hurry to change and pick up your clubs in the team room. Today's practices are boys varsity baseball at 3. Today's games, boys, var boys JV baseball versus McQuaid at 4.30. Girls varsity softball versus Mercy at 4.30. Girls JV softball versus Mercy at 4.30 and boys varsity lacrosse versus Batavia at GCC at 6 o'clock. And that will do it for sports. Oh, I bet it'd be terrible to be a junior, you know, not have a month left of school or something. Oh! Oh! Oh, shoot! Mike! Mike. Oh, Hi, shoot. how's it going, guys? Oh! oh. Mm, that, ooh, that's awkward. Sorry, now. Mike. Yeah, a little bit. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, that'll do it for us on BK <laughs> News. I'm Brooke LeBeau. I'm Mike Harrison. I'm Mike Flaherty. And I'm Emily Pietrocarlo a college student better than all of you. Just saying. Have a good day. <laughs> Burn. What a great show. What a great show.